take away. Um, I just wanted to formally stand and acknowledge you all and, um, and it's, it's a real honour to be here. Um, I also wanted to acknowledge the Vera Green Longhouse who I heard put my name forward. Um, I feel really honoured to be able to join in this residency and just thank you for inviting me and I'm really excited to see what we can collaborate on and create together in this um, in the next five days. Um, <laughs> my name is Penny. Um, the language I'm speaking is um, Te Reo Māori. It's our indigenous language from New Zealand. Um, my ancestry links me to the far north on my mother's side, to the tribes of Ngāpuni and um, Ngāti Pahu. And on my father's side, we're from Ngaitahu to Waipainu in the South Island. I also have a mix of ancestry from Scotland, Ireland and France. <laughs> um, but I'm most passionate about um, our te ao Māori, uh, our Māori arts and culture, and that's what drives um, the foundation for my work. And um, I have three children as well, I must acknowledge them because part of me misses them and <laughs> they go, my babies, but um, yeah, I just wanted to make it yeah. My kaupapa, my main theme that drives my work is, um, is to tie on what we call our environment, and where I can, I really try and um, honour and acknowledge those species and the environment that's important to us. So a lot of my work is about tuna. Um, so that's the eel, the long fin eel, which is endemic to New Zealand. Um, it's also an endangered species, but it's similar to the salmon. It's a migratory fish, so it swims up the currents um, from Aotearoa, New Zealand, all the way up to Tonga, and that's where they spawn, and then they travel back to our rivers. And they can take about 35 to 80 years before they're ready to migrate. So if you think about what happens in our waterways during that time period, um, it's quite concerning. But this, this is a, a species of fish that is a, what we call a tauma species, really precious to us. And um, where I can, I try and honour that in my work. Um, so I'm hoping to work together to create some hinaki eel nets, but also um, I'd like to honour some of the other um, species within the oceans as I think that many of us will be aware of what's happening within our oceans, especially in the Pacific, um, and with issues around global warming. But um, I don't need to go on into too much detail about that. I think you can do, everyone knows to do their own research. But the, the imagery that I'm wanting to, to share is, um, you know, is honouring this tuna, as uh, eels, um, and also the whales. And yeah, we'll see. I'm, uh, as you are aware, very new to glass. But I'm uh, passionate about Māori art and celebrating our culture. So, um, in terms of what I'd like, shall I show about that? Sure. Yeah. So, I'm uh, trained as a painter in terms of my art background. Trained as a painter, um, moved into sculpture where I was actually invited by some of our, um, our elders, our kaumātua, who encouraged me to create bronze um, eels. So one of the, this is a little tuna, so I've also moved into adornment in 2017. I was really fortunate to engage with the um, Indigenous Visual Artists Gathering at the Evergreen Longhouse, and that was where I met uh, by Denise Wallace, and she took me under her wing and kind of encouraged me to work in adornment, and um, so that's where I could move with the tuna. But I'm just going to show you some of the work. Sorry for my nerves. <laughs> but, um, so this is a work that I created back home. Um, I do a lot of work with our um, one of our what we call tribes within our, um, our native peoples, uh, So I've been really fortunate to work um, with our local tribe. So this is um, based on an eel form, eel net. It forms a public um, sculpture in one of the uh, developments back home. Just and then this is, and then just to show you, this is one of our elders as well. We're kind of moving into adornment where we can wear wear the tuna on your clothing, the eel. Mm -hmm. so, 
Te Rā Nui Ngāri Mu, one of our queer from back home, which is quite nice to bring her into the room as well. <laughs> Kia ora Te Rā Nui. <laughs> But a lot of, and some of the other forms I'd like to explore is also looking at, um, we would quite often wear adornment, you know, it's, it's uh, a way that you can carry your, your um, culture with you, and kind of a, our people, our Ngato people are quite nomadic people, so um, these are some of the taonga, so like a whale's tooth form, and so I'm really interested in how we can create that in glass, and then adorn that with some of the imagery of the whales. And then this is some of the other forms that I'm interested in experimenting with, which is, just to give you an idea, these are kind of breastplate forms. Just to show you from, from my body. So today I believe we're going to be working on, um, working with Gay, we're going to be working at creating some of the hinaki, this is an eel net kind of form. So I'm looking at creating eel nets. And then... A bit of experimenting is going to happen today, so excuse my <laughs> smeared pages, but just kind of experimenting on how we're going to, how the tuna will be incorporated into the eel, um, eel net. And so that's what we're going to be mainly working on today. And then um, later on this afternoon, I think maybe we're going to look at um, the, the whale tooth yeah. form. Yeah, so I was kind of wanting to show those connections that we have um, across indigenous cultures and as, as people and just the concerns for the environment and how they can be expressed within an art form. So, um, yeah, well, any questions for me? I think I'm, um, I'm, I've also been informed that um, things may shift during the residency, so already I can kind of see, I was really um, excited to see Preston's exhibition and that's kind of sparked a few other ideas that I might like to try um, before the end of the residency. Yeah. Tell us about your home in New Zealand. What is it like there? And um, I live in the South Island on the East Coast. Okay. Yeah, so it's um, very beautiful in terms of the landscape, and um, we have a similar in the sense of the, the mountain ranges are kind of nearby. Um, yeah, I, I'm quite fortunate. I um, have able to rent a studio that's nearby the ocean. So yeah, so the ocean environments, um, the natural environment is all around us. So, um, yeah, and, and I'm quite strongly involved within our Māori culture there, and looking really um, for trying to create opportunities to uplift um, Māori art forms and Māori culture through the arts. Yeah, sounds beautiful. Yeah, it's a beautiful place. I feel um, we're fortunate to live there. We have a very small population. Yeah, so compared to some countries, and um, yeah, it's it's a rarity to have this opportunity. So, thank you.